Hey, good morning. Merry Christmas, everyone. I wanted to come on and talk a little and also show you our tree for this year. Um, I did last year and the year before that. So here it is. Um, most of the ornaments are red and white with some green. We've got the garland draped over the tree this year instead of wrapped around the tree with the lights, how I normally do it. The truth is we got the garland late, but that's okay. So everything was on, it was just easier to like drape it. I think it's nice anyway like that though. And we've got a star, a snowflake star combination thing. And it actually, there we go. It actually um, projects snowflakes onto the ceiling. I thought that was so cool. I love Christmas. I really do. And the decorations and everything. And the tree. I love the tree. Um, I was thinking about getting an artificial tree because financially things have been really rough this year, amongst other things, like for all of us. Oops, my lanyard is stuck on the tree. Okay. Um, so I'll tell you how we got this tree. Um, first, on the sides of my doors, Ayani put up garland on each side, and at the end of it is hanging a, um, what do you call this, an icicle at the very end. And then on the other side is the garland and an icicle hanging as well. Um, and then I always put these things on the doors, like these little things that you put on the doorknob. Um, and there's the tree again. I'm going to make sure I'm getting all of it. So this tree was donated to us by Lowe's. Lowe's Hardware. Um, it's actually Aiden, my youngest, his favorite store. <laughs> and we haven't been to it since before. COVID. Um, how that happened was I, I really didn't know what I was going to do because <clears throat> of the situation, you know, with the assistance being cut and just everything being so crazy. COVID, going into the stores wasn't really too much of an option at the moment. So I ended up... Um, one day I was just like, let me call Lowe's. And I was talking with the manager and I told her I'm a single blind mom and I wasn't giving her a pity story. I was trying to tell her that um, I wanted to basically ask if I was able to get a tree, would they be able to tie it on the car for us? Because some places won't um, do that even before COVID. And I figured it might even be even more tough to ask them during COVID. So um, when I asked her, she was just like, no worries, we will donate the tree to you. And she said that as I was, you know, explaining, you know, we'll go pick it up. And, and it's just me and my mom and the kids. And I was like, well, wait, donate. I was like, so that means I won't have to pay anything. And she's like, yeah, we, we would like to help your family out. It's not a problem at all. And I could not believe that. Like, I just still can't believe that. It just, it's crazy. Um, and it's just one of God's ways of showing, you know, he, he's there. And even though I know it's not the most important part and all that stuff, it is really important. And just, it just means a lot to my heart that that happened. I mean... It's just a, an awesome thing, considering all things that have gone on. You know, there's so many people. Well, all of us are going through something. We've gotten bad news after bad news this year, and people I love are going through things. I'm going through things. People I know have lost their jobs, losing just a bunch of loss. So it's just any wins are like... 
I don't know. Just I, I really appreciate that she did that. And I, I can't even really put it into words. So, um, what else did I want to say? My crib should I use? Um, other ornaments they put up on the wall. But like I was telling my really... You are throwing me do- off, dog. Like I was telling my... One of my best friends the other night. Um, this year, if this year has taught me anything, it's to not fear and just go for what you want to go for. Like pursuing whatever it is that you want to pursue. And I don't know, I just see so much like I wish I would have done. But at the same time, I'm going to stop doing that to myself because it's like we're here and now. We can't change the past, but we can learn from it. Um, But um, there's just a lot of things that I've been thinking about. And you just can't let fear rule you. You have to do it or whatever it is, procrastinating or whatever. It's just you got to go for it. And... Be true to yourself. You know, cherish the ones you love. That's the biggest thing. Realize what you have while you have it. Because if it, another thing is, you know, it can be gone in an instant. You know, um, so cherish those who love you and love them back. Love is more than words, it's actions. And sometimes for me, I need words. I need to be. I need to be told things sometimes, but I've learned to really sit back and observe and and just appreciate, live in the moment, you know. um, It's really important to acknowledge the good in your life. I feel like I, I do appreciate, my heart does really, um, do I say that like I really do feel thankful for anything and and everyone like but at the same time maybe I didn't show enough maybe I haven't done enough I don't know but I know to appreciate more and instead of analyzing what everything means take it for what it is sometimes value those while you have them and Appreciate them, see them, see that they're trying. And um, I don't know, just live in the moment. That's the biggest thing. And make sure that you let those know that mean most to you, that you love them, that you care about them. Um, we need, We need to show more love. You know, we can't just assume people know. Um, but then again, I mean, you do know off of people's actions. If you really sit back and listen and pay attention, we all always want more. But what if you have everything you need right now and you just don't see it? You know, I've, I've experienced a lot of loss. And not just this year, but before this year. And it's like, you know, you really got to think about the good in your life too even when it's hard and sometimes that really is really difficult especially when you're going through so much in that moment it, it clouds it you know it clouds a lot of it but if you have your loved ones around you if you you know it's, it's a blessing not everybody has that so Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I feel lost right now, but I've been trying to do this video over and over again. Um, But I appreciate everyone in my life, and I'm thankful for the people that that I've met that are in my life, that I've come across. And I know I seem really not put together right now, 
but there's so much I want to say. Um, <clears throat> I also come off as really emotional, and I know I could I could come off as really fragile or sensitive, <laughs> like I was also telling um, someone the other day, um, but someone close to me, of course. But um, I'm stronger than I give off. But I want to show love and kindness, and I want to be that person that people know is that, you know. So anyway, I hope you guys are all okay. I wish you the best in the new year. I'll probably be making another video where I'm not as distracted by things. Um, I really wanted to show you my tree, though. Remember, show those love that need it. And if you feel it, do it because we're here today and appreciate that. You know, take it in. Um, all right, I will talk to you all soon because I feel like I am a mess right now. <laughs> so much love.